The April 27th tornado outbreak is just right around the corner, and since that tragic day, emergency management agencies across Alabama have been working across county lines to keep families just like yours safe. Today, the Jefferson County EMA and Tuscaloosa EMA came together to talk about a new way to better notify communities during severe weather. Both counties are now on the same countywide notification system. It's called Everbridge. They say this is just one example of how these two agencies are working together to keep people in central Alabama safe. April 27th, the tornado that hit Tuscaloosa ended up in Jefferson County, the same one. So we need to work together so we can keep our citizens safe. If we have anything that we would want to say, it's we don't want any more fatalities. We don't want any more people killed. Now, if you want to sign up for those alerts, you can find the links to them on our website, WIAT.com. Just search Weather Alert. Everbridge. Nice to see everybody working together, and that's what those days are all about. I've been a part of those think tanks and coming up with ideas how we can do this, and what they're doing is tremendous. All of those folks care just as much as we do to make sure everybody's safe Absolutely. because it will happen again. We'll have tornadoes, but not today. And, you know, if you look out towards the west, it's a little bit different. Check this out. Severe thunderstorms with high winds and heavy rain move through the state of Oklahoma, flooding streets and an interstate in and around OKC. Now, this is an aerial view of Edmond, Oklahoma. That's about 20 minutes south of Oklahoma City. But check out all that water. It's tremendous. And a lot of that running through fields where there are a lot of livestock, and folks, uh, boy, it's, I tell you, that looks like the, the red clay has mixed in with a lot of that overflow. But uh, those folks really feeling the impact of that heavy rain. It doesn't take that long. Amazing video. Don't forget tomorrow, a weather aware is in effect. There could be a few heftier thunderstorms that do move in. So we're going to be watching that carefully. I don't see this as a widespread severe weather outbreak, but the potential for a couple of stronger or possibly severe storms with the gusty winds and hail not out of the question. All right, I'm going to show you something a little different tonight. We're going to time it out as far as what happens tomorrow. And for those of you headed to the A-Day game in Tuscaloosa, this is at 8 o'clock in the morning. Things look great through the morning, and then once we get into the early afternoon kickoff, shouldn't have any problems. And then by 4 to 5 o'clock, watch how fast this moves in. There's a line of thunderstorms moving into the city of Tuscaloosa by about 5.15 and that rain will linger. Hopefully the game will be wrapping up by then, but for those of you who are going to tailgate or maybe check out the game, you'll still be around. The possibility of rain will be there. Now, what about the IndyCar race? Let's go to Barber Motor Sports Park, and this is going through the day tomorrow. Not a whole lot happening, but then by 6, look at this line of storms passing through. Could be gusty at times, so it's going to be a mess. I'm going to try to go out and visit tomorrow, and Hopefully the races will be done by the time the rain gets there, but the showers will linger, so the commute or your drive after certainly could be a bit wet. Here's a look at our current temperatures now. It's hard to believe this is April, but it's 86 now in Birmingham, mid-80s in most spots. All of the showers and thunderstorms are well to the north and west of us. As a matter of fact, a lot of this is just staying well to the north and to the east of us. And there's all that rain back out into the central plains, but we'll finally get that pushed in our direction throughout the next couple of days, and that's simply because we will have that uh, front moving in. And this is throughout the morning tomorrow at 730. You'll see the showers and thunderstorms start to swing through roughly at about three to four or five that time frame, and then it swings through central Alabama, east Alabama through tomorrow evening into tomorrow night. Then we're done with it. Most of the showers that linger in east Alabama won't be very heavy, but then once we get into Sunday, we'll start to break through some of the cloud cover and get some sunshine in here. But our models are trying to keep us pretty dry, or actually, I, said, I should say, pretty cloudy and uh, dry without any rain falling. So for the rest of this evening, if you're headed out, eh, it's not looking bad. It's date night, Jim, and we're looking at the next seven days. Temperatures go from 82 to 68 on Sunday. That's a turnaround. Mid-80s, though, by next week and feeling more like